As communities in the Eastern Cape and KwaZulu Natal take stock of the devastating impact of inclement weather this week, many are asking the question of what is behind the extreme levels of rainfall and severe snow. Let's get some insight now. Bring in South African Youth Climate Coalition Secretary and Campaigns Manager, Michel Kaiza. Michel, welcome to SABC News. So can we conclusively say that what we've seen as far as the weather patterns this week is a result of climate change? A good day at Tembegile. Um, I hope you're good. And I just want to firstly extend condolences to uh, the families that have lost their lives. And um, I would like to, to uh, one, say that um, one singular event cannot um, just account for uh, climate change. However, um, throughout the years, we have seen that uh, these are extreme weather patterns have been uh, pretty much frequent and um, they've been heightened and, and um, we can see within the KZN and now and now the, the um, Eastern Cape. And um, um, we can confirm that he, that he, um, as much as the, the extreme weather are not rare, but um, climate change, it is a multiplier of uh, this particular effect. Um, I think, yeah, um, that is my view that climate change heightens these particular occurrences. But is there something to be said then, Mikhe, about the fact that we're seeing, especially um, in coastal areas, an apparent increase in the extremities of rainfall and snow? KZN, for example, back in 2022, saw more than 400 people die when they experienced hellish storms over the Easter long weekend. In the Eastern Cape, yes, they've always had snow in areas like Buckley East, Buckley West. But now, when we saw rains flood entire areas in Mtata, that appeared unusual. Should we treat that as a singular event? Um, it's, we shouldn't, um, um, and it's definitely something that uh, we should be, be concerned of. Um, 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 as much as um, uh, we can't take it as a singular one, because they've been occurring, as I said, and, um, and, and uh, we might want to also think back to a day zero, um, a few years back, that, that um, happened in Cape Town. So then these are events that are actually happening throughout South Africa. And, and um, it is a... Mika, are you still with us? I think we've lost Michele Kaiser, but let's see if we can bring him back on the line. What we're showing you at the moment are some of the pictures of the snowfall in parts of the Eastern Cape that were blanketed from about Monday by these levels of ice, frost in some areas, and then disaster came in the Mtata area and others when it began to rain quite heavily. As we speak here this evening, at least 49 people are known to have died in the Eastern Cape. It's feared that the death toll will rise at sunset tomorrow. Let's see if we can bring back Michele Kaiza. I mean, if you're back with us, we were just talking about whether there's something to be said about the apparent um, increase in the extremities of weather patterns along the Eastern Cape or the coastal line, including KZN. Okay, I don't think that's going to work out. Let's park it there. Michele Kaiza was speaking to us uh, out of Johannesburg, I believe, this evening, talking to us about weather patterns along the coast. I want to get the name of the organization right. Michele is with the South African Youth Climate Coalition. He's the secretary and campaigns manager there. We'll hopefully be able to reconnect with them even tomorrow here on The Full View.